This is an artist's rendition of The Dealer, a robotic card playing machine. It's about 17 inches in diameter and 4 inches tall. It has several important components. The inserter area, which takes decks of cards. It loads the deck into the inside of the machine for later play. And there are eight distinct player stations around the perimeter, each having a door for delivering cards and a selector unit. This is an engineering breadboard version of the dealer. It's not as pretty as the final unit will be, but it's about the same diameter and an inch taller than the final unit. It has the same important components, the inserter area where two decks of cars can be inserted, and a door for each player station. Each player also has a selector unit, which slides neatly into the bottom. Eventually, we'll have two rows of switches here that will control the operation of the game. But for now, we have an off-board electronic system that we can easily modify to test out new ideas. Here's a small computer it's with a couple of boards of electronics inside. This will be shrunk down for the final unit. And a, a dumb terminal to simulate the individual keys that we'll be using on the, on the top of the game. Let's go ahead and use the game. All we do is take the cards and insert them in the hopper and push the load button. Each card gets sucked in one at a time. And while they're being inserted, they're also being read by the computer. The computer knows just what cards it has. Inside, you can see the carousel assembly with a slot for each card. And as each card is read in, the computer advances the carousel quickly so that the next card can be put in in its slot. It doesn't matter what order the cards are in, the computer keeps track of what cards are where. This is a selector unit. As you can see, it's about the same size as the card, just a little thicker. It has two little wheels that you can access from the sides. And with those, you can select any card you might like to use. There are little detents inside, so it's, the knobs only stop at valid positions. With this clear unit, we can actually see how the selector works. Inside, there are several little wires. The small wires are cammed up and down by recesses in the back of the wheel. And as they do, they open and close a little switch on the end. The same wire comes down to the end, folds over, and forms a connector which makes connection to the main computer board when the, when the selector is inserted. You see how the ejectors work? Let me select a card here. Here's the nine of spades I've got dialed in. Slide it in. Machine delivers the nine of spades. Select another card. Jack of spades. The carousel quickly moves in the most efficient manner to the slot that has that card, and it spits it out. The ejector is actually a small wheel down inside here. And with a, a motor mounted on the back side, it's a bit hard to see it here. But when, it, uh, when the motor is energized, the wheel comes up, grabs the edge of the card, and is turning, of course, so it pulls the card out of its slot. Now, if something should, if something should go wrong, let me illustrate that. Let's ask for the queen of spades. We're not keeping it from making it all the way out. But the computer realizes that something has jammed the carousel, and so it keeps trying until it gets rid of it. No problem. After you've uh, played a game, in this case I've just got those three cards out, you can insert them back in the hopper at any time until to reload those cards. The computer quickly finds an empty slot and puts the cards back in, reading them again. The computer is obviously in control here. As we saw, it controls the carousel position, the reading of the cards, and the ejectors. So any 
combination of cards can be delivered to any selector, and to any player, rather, according to any rules. You could obviously use this to deal normal games like poker, bridge, pinochle, but the real excitement is the new kinds of games you can play because of the selectors. The first new game is called Pick'em. Pick'em is based on the rules of poker with two big differences. First, the deck consists of 52 regular cards and also a deck of 52 jokers. All have been barcoded so that they can be read by the unit. Each player then chooses the card he wants rather than being dealt a card randomly as in standard poker. When a player chooses a card that has already been dealt and that is being picked by another player, he gets a joker. Here, the first player selects the ace of spades. The second player selects the queen of clubs. The first player is attempting to get a royal flush in spades. Thus, he selects the king of spades as his next card. The second player on the right is attempting to collect four queens. The first player doesn't know that the second player has already drawn the queen of spades. So he receives a joker, a null card in this game. Null cards or jokers are dealt in the event of conflict where more than one player selects the same card or if the card has been previously dealt. The first player selects the ace of diamonds because the second player has blocked his royal flush. The second player decides to block the first player's aces. Both select the ace of clubs. And both players receive null cards. Here now are some informal scenes from a couple of recent pick'em parties. <laughs> 